O2G family, it's your boy Ace, back at it again. And we here. So the topic of the day is you want to start your own t-shirt brand or start your own t-shirt business. Simple. It's not very hard to get into. Very low overhead cost. Uh, initially, I spent about, let's just say about $600, five to $600. I actually started off with this press right here. This is a fancy studio press, 15 by 15 from Amazon. I think I paid it about $200. The next thing I purchased was this Cameo 4. This is actually the Plus version, which I upgraded to, but I purchased the Cameo 4 off of Amazon. Oh, wow. And from Amazon, that was about, let me fix this camera, but that was about, Two ninety nine, I believe it was like two ninety nine. So altogether, you know, five six hundred dollars plus the vinyl. How I started off with, I bought some vinyl, uh, single packs like this, which I, I still use to today for, you know, for like the kids and for my wife. Simple. I bought this. This was about like a thirty dollar pack of. Just, let me see, uh, thirty six different colors and then I went online I found a website it was uh, alldaytshirts.com and I bought a bunch of gilded t-shirts and that's how I started and as you can see I'm working off my heat press nation signature series 16 by 20 pull out draw order open but I'm just waiting for my heat press to warm up. So basically, it's not very hard to get into, like I said before. So we're gonna get to a step-by-step -step process of how to make a t-shirt, right? I already have a logo created. Um, one of my vintage OTG Kicks logos that I came out with. In the beginning, when I first started selling t-shirts, before I even started doing customized shirts, I started doing selling my OTG Kicks tees and they sold pretty well. I was very happy that I got so much love and support from my family and friends, even people that I don't even know who when I posted up on Instagram, they showed me some love. So, man, what's up with this, man? I'm trying to log into this computer. But yeah, you know, it's not hard, man. You can make a lot of money, especially if you have a great concept, a great idea. You can definitely build a brand. You can definitely make some money. Like I was able to buy a Riley Hopkins 150 four color one station press for screen printing. I was able to buy Epson F570 sublimation printer. I bought myself a Canon printer after I had a workforce uh, 7720. I sold that one and bought me a Canon printer. I upgraded my Cameo to Cameo Plus, working on getting the Cameo 4 Pro, and I also purchased a Heat Press Nation 16x20 Heat Press. Working on next is an embroidery machine, and also maybe a white toner printer. Working out in my garage, as you see, I may from time to time put my hoodie over my head because it is brick in this New York weather. Um, now back to making these t-shirts, Simple, simple, simple thing. You have your mat. This is the cutting mat. You place paper vinyl. You take your vinyl sheet. Make sure you get a certain particular kind of vinyl. HTV vinyl, not Oracle vinyl. Oracle vinyl is for decal. If you're going to get HTV vinyl, this is going to go directly onto the garment. You place the shiny side down. I don't know if you can see, but this is the shiny side. This is the dull side. The dull side is what the side you want to have here. Adjust this camera. Simple. This is this is not hard to do. This is not hard to do. I prefer to use the Cameo brand of uh, vinyl cutters or craft cutters. Um, this is what I started with. So this is what I'm used to using. You know, some people use the circuits, but I prefer the Cameo. So this is what I'm rocking with. Just line it up. Make sure it's even. Line it up. 
They have a little latch in here that you lock in. It's locked in now. So now we go to my computer, my laptop. Very simple, very simple, very simple. Let's see if you can see this right here. Now we're gonna go to the laptop. Basically, you just pull up your, your program and upload your design. This is actually working off of Wi-Fi, so I don't have to connect much. Um, just make sure I have an internet connection. This was something I was working on, um, but we're gonna get out of that and just go straight to, well, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna open this up, brand new one. I'm gonna go back to a vintage OTG Kicks that I used to have. This was my vintage OTG Kicks original logo that I used to do. But today, I, you know what? I may not even do the logo. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna do something a lot easier. Something I was pushing before, and I think everyone might like, is this love heart in the program you have to make sure that your print is reversed because this is how it's going to cut then you will turn over the heat transfer vinyl right side for it and then press onto the shirt so i'm going to send this image make sure it's lined up i'm going to send this image press send Make sure you have your proper heat, your proper cut settings. I don't know, this is, this is the cameo setting right here. It says heat transfer smooth. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I usually like to add the blade. I make that a little higher and I increase the force. Oh, I'll keep, I'll keep the force and increase the passes. Two passes to make sure I have a, a defined cut. My printer says ready right here. Like I said, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna send it to the printer and watch it work. So the Cameo Cutter is doing its job of reading the image via the computer and it's cutting the image out onto the vinyl so we'll get back to once this is cut and you watch yeah, so we're back just got the image cut out let me uh focus this on the table mind you i'm doing this on the phone so just bear with me so i have my piece of vinyl cut out i'm going to use my weeding tool to weed out my image and it's very simple guys um when I'm doing basic designs like this, I either use um, for like my wife and kids, I'll use the Amazon paper just to use it up if I have some on stock. For my customers, I like to use the, the Sizer or, or Caesar Easy Weed. So we are basically done. I have to appeal one more piece. One more piece. Oh, we're done. Here you go. This is the image. As you can see right here. You see it's reversed from the screen. Oh, let, me, let me fix this up real quick. I know I'm giving you guys a bad video, but excuse me. Like I said, I'm doing this on the whim. The image is reversed on the screen so that when you weed it out and when it's cut, it's cut on the right side to press on the shirt. So what I like to do Where's my scissors? I like to cut around the image. Another thing I like to do while at the press is I like to lint roll my shirts. I like to lint roll all of my garments. Some people do it on the, the, the the pressing side or some people just do the whole shirt. I like to do the whole shirt, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do where I'm pressing at. Very important thing is to always preheat, preheat your garment to take away all the moisture out of your shirt or whatever garment that you're using. Some people, when they line the image up, they'll use 
three fingers like so and their thumb me i like to do it more professionally and i'll use like i start off with a ruler and then i gradually moved on to a uh t ruler which helps out greatly too but we're gonna go how i start off with with a regular ruler some people like to use let me uh unplug this phone from the charger some people like to use three fingers down from the bottom of the collar. Me, I like to use, from what I was told, a business card or a credit card. So, one thing I'll do, I'll go, I wish I had a cameraman so I can show you how I usually do this, but I like to go and line up um, from side to side. From the, ed the edge of the palette to this edge of the ruler, I like to line up. Let me fix this a little bit. Excuse my, my ugly face. There we go. So, what I would do here is line this up to make sure that it's even. The same measurement on both sides. So, that's what I usually do. So, I'll just do that real quick. And then you'll, you'll get to the pressing, okay? Let me show you how it looks right here. So as you can see, it's lined up. I have my card right here, giving it three to four inches from the neckline. And very important, use your Teflon sheet or your butcher paper. And guys, we are making a t-shirt for our brand just like this I have my heat press set for 15 seconds the temperature at 315 degrees I like to double press my shirts the reason why I feel like they'll last longer in the shirts just a per personal preference some people don't do that but I usually do that's it like I said I double press my shirt so Let's get back to it. So you can see it's already in the shirt now. It's already in the shirt. I can peel it and then see it's good to go. But I like to double press it just to make sure when you go put it in the wash that it's in the shirt, right? And keep in mind, it is vinyl. So after some wear and tear, after some, a few washes, it will probably start to peel. But for the most part, most of my shirts, I've washed over 80 times, 100 times, depending on the shirt, and it's still lasting the length of the t-shirt. So now I'm done. So guys, you take it and you take, it's hot, make sure it's hot. You do your final peel, and here we go. We just made a t-shirt live, starting a closing brand if you want and look how dope this came out this is beautiful you could throw these on with some air joint ones some air maxes all right so it's your boy ace we made our first t-shirt together this was a simple quick tutorial but you guys can start your own brand you guys can customize anybody t-shirt with a little skill and practice this doesn't take that long to do. You can absolutely sell this shirt right here with this quality of a Gildan shirt for $20. $20, man. Pump these out real quick. Valentine's Day is coming up, so you will be seeing these on people very soon. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you subscribe, share the video, show some love. We out. Peace.